getting ready for the day right now and I want to do a DIY plaster art and I got all the supplies. This is my Rider Die foundation. It's the Maybelline Fit Me foundation and then I already have concealer on but I use the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I went to Sephora the other day for the first time in so long because I actually got a gift card to there for Christmas saving it for so long because I was like I'm gonna wait to use this when I'm like running out of stuff and I need to buy some new stuff. So I got the concealer, contour wand, put a little bronzer on. Because I have dark hair I like to bring it right up into the hairline so it kind of blends in so that it doesn't look like a mask or something if it's not the exact shade of my skin. For brows I'm using the Revlon Color Stay brow pencil. I like to fix the shape a little bit. I don't like them looking like too perfect. I'm using this little Morphe eyeshadow palette. Going simple on the eyes today just because I'm going to be home all day. For mascara I'm using the Lash Paradise Mascara by L'Oreal. This is honestly my all-time favorite mascara. What's your take on eyeliner? Because I feel like for the last like year or so I haven't been wearing eyeliner as much. Maybe I've just been doing more like just simple everyday looks that I haven't been wearing it a lot. I also really like the way the eyeshadow winged eye looks too. That looks really good. I feel like that's honestly quicker and easier to do if you don't have time for eyeliner. For blush I'm using the Milk Makeup Lip and Cheek Stick. I honestly love this. You can like swipe it on, use your fingers and blot it on, or you could use a brush. When I was at Sephora the other day I actually picked up the mini version of the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer to try it out. I'll let you guys know how I like it. I want to try it out a couple more times before I give like a full review but first impressions I liked it felt like very grippy definitely felt like my makeup was gonna stay on but I will say like towards the end of the day something felt a little like my face was like stiff I don't know how to explain it but I want to keep testing it because I had several new products on my face yesterday so I'm not sure if that was that specifically or if it was one of the other new products so I'll keep you guys posted I'm really excited to finally do this DIY and I feel like the living room will look a lot more complete once this is hung but this is the Rare Beauty lip liner in the color Wise then for gloss I'm using this little mini silk balm I'm very into a glossy lip I definitely think with this shirt I need to put my hair up I'm just gonna use this black scrunchie I think I got it off Amazon whenever I'm gonna wear my hair up I have to like make sure I bronze my ears or else it looks weird if they look lighter. I'm the only one who does that. <laughs> right, that's fine for now. It doesn't need to be perfect since I'm literally just gonna be home. Before I do the artwork, I'm gonna make a latte quickly. I should have two types of caffeine a day, one in the morning and then one in the afternoon, whether it's tea or coffee. Recently, I just got this Javi coffee concentrate and I've honestly been loving it to make at-home lattes. So I wanna show you guys how we do it. Look at how cute these cups are too. Putting in ice cubes. Then you can put all milk or water. I'm gonna put both. I'm also gonna put a little bit of almond milk. I'm doing one to two teaspoons of Javi. It's pretty strong, which I love, so I only need one teaspoon. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of half and half, and I'm gonna pour it in, and I'm gonna froth it. I'm just gonna keep doing this till it gets thicker. And I love putting a little cinnamon on top. I feel like this just makes it taste so good. Tastes so good. It's non-GMO, dairy-free, ethically sourced. But honestly, what I love the most about it is that it's really quick and easy. And they even have several different flavors. You can make it hot or cold too, which is a bonus. They actually gave me a discount code for 20% off the whole website if you want to try it. And it'll be linked in the description. And if you do try it, let me know how you like it. So I'm going to go finish drinking this and have some lunch. Dom made me a sandwich before he left. And then I was also just thinking that I should probably change before I do this DIY thing. Just because it might get a little messy. So I'm going to go do that and I'll see you guys in a second. So right here is where I want to hang the DIY plaster art. Dom helped me yesterday to hang up the hooks for it, so it's all ready to go once I'm done. I bought this framed canvas on Amazon. It actually had a painting on it, so I painted over the painting. So now I can use this as a base for the artwork. That's a little hack if you ever want to do an artwork that's framed. Just buy something on Amazon and then you can paint over it and do whatever you want. Because frames can be really expensive, especially the wooden floating frames. So I'm all about saving money. So I've got this blue painter's tape. I'm gonna quickly tape over the edges just in case any plaster gets on the wood. It'll be covered up. spackle from Lowe's so I pretty much I'm just gonna put it all over and I kind of want to do like swiping motions to make it look like a textured artwork I'm like scared to mess this up you guys and I got these off Amazon to move the spackle around I 
feel like it looks really cute. Let's take the tape off and see how it looks. All right guys, here it is. It looks so good. Can't wait to put it on the wall. I'm so happy with how it turned out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one.